Now this is an absolute classic sort of question that you'll see when it comes to arithmetic sequences. I'm going to show you the traditional way to do it and I'll also show you a, a different way to do it. Now the traditional way to do this is using simultaneous equations. So let's take a look at, write, write down everything that we've got. The seventh term is 23. Okay, let's just write that down. The seventh term is equal to 23. And it also says the 21st term, term 21, is equal to 93. Okay, that's really all we know, right? We don't know the first term and we don't know the common difference either. All right, let's put these two pieces of information into some equations here. So first of all, term 7 is equal to 23. I don't know the first term. Plus, uh, now I know what term this is. It's the seventh term, so I can put 7 in there minus 1, and then the common difference, I don't know that. Okay, so this is a problem because I've got an unknown here and an unknown here. But that's okay because I've also got this other thing here. Term 21 is equal to 93, and again, I don't know term 1. Now, I know it's term 21, so n is 21, so 21 minus 1. And then a common difference of d here. So what I have is two equations, two unknowns. We should be thinking about simultaneous equations. Now I can make these a little simpler because 7 minus 1 is 6 and 21 minus 1 is 20. Let's just get rid of those and put 6 and 20 in there. All right, simple, straightforward. Now we can even tidy this up a little bit further um, because we can just write this as 6d and this is 20d. So let's write that. Okay, perfect, great. Now we can call this equation 1, and we can call this equation 2. And there's a lot of different ways that you can do uh, simultaneous equations, but I think the easiest one here is going to be in the elimination method, right? Now, I'm going to do something a little odd here. Because I see that this number is larger than this, and this number is larger than this, I'm going to subtract, I'm going to do equation 2 minus equation 1. Okay, so... Equation 2 minus equation 1. 93 minus 23 is 70. T1 minus T1, 0, goes away. 20D minus 6D, that's 14D. Great. Now, if I just divide both sides by 14, I'll get 70 divided by 14 is equal to D, and that means that D is equal to 5. Okay, simple, straightforward, great. So that's fine. Now, what if you don't like simultaneous equations? They, they freak you out, right? We can get to the same answer, d equals 5, through a little bit of logic, right? And what I mean by that is, let's take a look again at these two bits of information that we had right at the start. Term 7 equals 23, and term 21 equals 93. Right. So how many terms are between term 7 and term 21? Well, 21 minus 7 is 14 terms. There's 14 terms between 21 and 7. All right, now what's the difference between those 14 terms? Well, there's 93 minus 23, that's 70. Okay, so in 14 terms, we've put on 70 answers, right? 70 new numbers. So, 70 divided by 14, the number of terms, will give us how much we went up by each term. 5. Our common difference is 5. Now, this is a very non-standard way of doing this. Not many people do it this way, but I wanted to show it to you because you can do this. You can find this common difference of 5 without having to do simultaneous equations. You can logic your way to this answer. Now, whether you got it to it this way or whether you got to it this way, the next step's going to be the same. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to keep moving down this side. Now that I know that my common difference... That looks like a pair of sunglasses. All right. Now that I've got a common difference of 5, I can put that 5 into this equation. So I have 23 equals... T1 plus 6 times 5. Now I could have also put it into that second equation, 
It really doesn't matter. One of those will, will work. Okay, so now that I've done that, there we go. All right, now that I've done that, we have 23 is equal to T1 plus 30. So that means that the first term must be equal to 23 minus 30, which is negative 7. The first term is negative 7. Now, really, everything I've shown you here, that's kind of the end of the question because the next bit is so simple. It's stuff that we've done in the past because it says, now that we know the first term and now that we know the common difference, let's find the 50th term. All right, so the 50th term is equal to the first term, negative 7, plus uh, n minus 1, so n is 50, 50 minus 1, so that's 49, times the common difference, which is 5. And then you just type that into your calculator. My final answer, 238. Done and dusted. Okay, so that's a classic, like I said, if you've got some term and some other term, create two equations and start working from there. Or you can use that sneaky other method where you logic your way towards finding the common difference. And then once you've got your common difference, move forward from there. Done.